Welcome students. Here are some food items kept which we consume in our daily life. Lemon, tamarind, baking soda, raw mango, vinegar, salt, pomegranate, sugar and water. Now, can you make a list of similar tastes from these? In other words, in how many different tastes can you classify these items? Let's try these one by one. Test each item. Test it and write the test types. Test, sour, astringent, sweet, bitter, testless. Also, segregate substances on table as per their test type. As these substances are used in food and they are known to us, it is safe to test them but otherwise, you should not test any chemical in chemistry laboratory without permission of the teacher. Usually, testing is not permitted as some chemicals are poisonous and dangerous for health. Let's also try to put these items one by one in water and check what happens. For sour and astringent, they dissolve in water. Can you tell me substances test sour? Yes, it is due to the presence of a typical compound in them. Such compounds are called acids. Well, acids are soluble in water and test sour astringent. Acids present in food are called natural or carbonic acids because they are present naturally and carbon is present in all of them. They are weak and not harmful, hence they are called weak acids. Animals and plants also possess acids in them. Let's check this concentrated sulfuric acid very carefully. I'll put few drops of it on this surface. What happens? Yes, it burns the surface. Acids such as sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acids and nitric acid are strong in nature and they are caustic or inflammatory. If their concentrated solution falls on skin, it gets burnt. Also, if their vapors are inhaled, it can be very harmful to health. These are called mineral acids. In previous chapters, you have learned about corrosion. The acids are also corrosive in nature. You have also learned that dilute acids react with metals. What will happen if we try to add water directly to the concentrated acids? Dilute acids can be prepared by adding concentrated acids to water slowly. The dilute acids are less harmful than their corresponding strong acids. Let's revise what we learned about acids just now. Acids The food substances which test sour or sour astringents like lemon, tamarind, vinegar contain weak carbonic acids which impart the sour test in them. Acids are soluble in water and are corrosive in nature. Mineral acids such as H2SO4, HCl and HNO3 are strong acids which are inflammatory. It is harmful to touch or test these as they burn the skin. Now, let us consider these items or substances that test bitter. We will make their dilute solutions in water and see what happens. Yes, these tests bitter and are slippery to touch. These are called bases. The bitter or astringent test and slippery touch are typical characteristics of bases. They are also inflammatory to skin in their concentrated form. But all other chemical properties of bases are completely different from acids. Let's revise. Bases. Bases are the substances that have bitter or astringent test. The touch is slippery. Bases have properties that are opposite to that of acids. There are strong bases like sodium hydroxide NaOH, potassium hydroxide KOH. There are weak bases like baking soda that is sodium bicarbonate Na2CO3. Summary we learned about acids, bases and their properties. We also learned about weak and strong acids and weak and strong bases. Challenge 
List out substances from your daily diet which contains natural acids and find out the acids in them.